The devastation so far being called tremendous. We have to stay together, help each other, and pray to God to help us. And then Hurricane Maria hit, and I couldn't hear from anybody. It's like three million people just disappeared off the face of the earth. And the country left in a daze with no electricity and no running water. I couldn't hear from my cousin Jonathan or my uncle Joaquin and my aunt Diana, and I didn't hear from anybody. Eventually, I would hear from them. They finally connected to us via social media weeks after. Puerto Rico is currently and will continue to be for many, many years in a state of recovery. I was still going through my, um, my treatment for cancer, so I was immunocompromised. So I wasn't allowed to travel. I couldn't go to Puerto Rico. That's when I started working on the Reconstruction Anthology, and I just poured all my energy into that. Naturally, I always saw um, the comic book genre as the perfect vehicle to bring awareness of injustices because that's all that these heroes do is fight for justice. One of the things I wanted to do with this project was not only raise awareness to the social issues affecting Puerto Rico, but to celebrate this generation of young women that are a part of our country right now. In La Borinquena, I wanted to celebrate her Afro-Puerto Rican heritage, celebrate the beauty of that diversity, a part of our heritage. And, and, and I look at it now and I can't believe that it actually happened. And that a character that there was not even um, kind of like in his first year of being published was actually going to team up with icons that we all grew up with. Overwhelmingly, I get asked online by many people and even at events, how, how did you get DC Comics to team up with, with you? How did you approach them? How, what did you have to do? And I kind of like shrug a little bit. I'm like, they actually came to me. I wanted to gather up 100% of the proceeds for this project um, so that I can use it towards charitable efforts on the island. Seeing that organically the stories are being told, that people continue to talk about this, and people are organizing their own fundraisers, buying these books and reselling them and using it as an opportunity not only to share these stories but to continue the conversation, to continue the dialogue. You don't have to give thousands of dollars to help Puerto Rico. You literally just buy this book. So many lives were lost and so many people were affected and so many people have been displaced. That is the least that we can do. And if I've created a character that is a reflection of the power of Puerto Rico, then I have to find the power within myself to, to reconnect with the island as well.